welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't been to my channel before, <laughs> my name is Amanda Jupiter Anderson. And today, I just had to show up and share with you guys something that is so silly. It is so silly, you guys. So, before I get into it, take a moment right now if you haven't already and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell, you guys. Subscribe and be notified. Let's get into this. So, I wanted to share with you what happened to me today along my journey. <laughs> oh, you guys. And I just have a feeling that some of you out there might be dealing with this. So that's why I'm showing up to share this with you. So, I go to work, you know, I come home for lunch and I check my mailbox. And in my mailbox, there's a slip from the post office. And they couldn't leave it because it was certified and somebody had to sign for it. So I had to drive to the post office, sign for the letter, I received the letter and I'm thinking, what could this possibly be about, you know? It's from a law firm, from a law attorney. So I open the letter and I'm reading it and I just cannot stop laughing, you guys. <laughs> so anyway, my landlord, if you don't know, now you know, I rent my house. And anyway, my landlord decided, he's so silly, he decided to go to a, an attorney to serve me with, a, with paperwork certified to remind me that it's not in my lease that I'm allowed to burn incense. Where do they do that at? Like, where does that even go from? Just like, are you serious? Somebody's literally gonna take time to go hire an attorney to pay them to send you a certified letter in your mail stating that you are not allowed to burn incense in your house? Like, that doesn't even make sense to me. Number one, you guys, I pay over $1,000 a month just to live here and that's just my rent that's not including my water my electric my food and I buy superfoods so my food bill can become you know more I don't want to say the word expensive because I don't use that word expensive but it does cost more to buy healthier good foods and anyway you know, I pay this guy so much and I feel like I pay more than what the, where the place where I live is worth. However, I don't use the word expensive anymore and I don't, because whatever I need, it comes. Whatever I need, it doesn't matter what it is, God, the universe, the source will provide for you because like the words of Trennis Henderson says in every single one of his videos, you guys. The divine powers are always working for us when we're doing right. Because we're doing right. Because we're doing right. The divine powers are always working for us. So anyway, this letter, it was just so silly to me. And I had to show up today and share this with you. That it literally said in the letter... Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what the letter said. It's just so silly to me because the incense that I burn are so beautiful. They smell so good. I use them for meditation. I use them to connect to my spirit guides, to my ancestors, to the divine light of the world, God, the source, the universe. And this is something that I'm never gonna stop doing. I will always continue to burn my incense. And I went over my lease and it says nowhere in the lease that I signed over two years ago, or a year ago, that I couldn't burn incense. So I just laughed it off. I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to cause any problems, you know, with anyone. 
I am going to forgive my landlord for being so silly. <laughs> so today, you guys, I wanted to talk with you about the need to forgive. Because forgiveness is key, you guys, and forgiveness is so important. Forgiveness is so important. So, get rid of all bitterness. If you have bitterness today, get rid of that bitterness. It is not worth it. You don't need it. Get rid of it. Let it go. Let go of rage, your anger, harsh words, um, slander, as well as, as well as all types of malicious behavior. And instead, I'm going to share with you what I do along my journey. Because what I've been doing along my journey, instead of doing all of that, just be kind to others and just laugh in their silliness because you have to admit, that's pretty silly. That is pretty silly. So just be kind to others, tender hearted, forgive one another, just as God has forgiven you. Just be kind to one another and forgive one another. You will truly be better for it along your journey. And I wanted to let you know, it has been said that life is an exercise in forgiveness, you guys. Life is an exercise in forgiveness. Okay? Remember this. Life is an exercise in forgiveness. And it should be added that forgiveness is an essential step. It is an essential step in overcoming tough times, okay? And if you know anything about Jesus, Jesus understood the importance of forgiveness when he commanded to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. But sometimes, you know, forgiveness can be difficult. And when we've been injured or embarrassed, you know, we feel the urge sometimes to strike back and to hurt one another who have hurt us. But Jesus tells us that this is not the way. This is not his way. And if you don't know, you guys, Jesus is the lover of my soul because I love his practices. I love his teachings. He's all about love and forgiveness and kindness. And the only thing to me that is real is love. And we are all love. And that's what we are here to do is to practice love. So practice love today. Forgive others. We are to weave. We are to weave the thread of forgiveness into the very fabric of our lives. This is what we all, every single one of us need to do. You know, do you invest more time than you should in reliving in your past? Are you troubled by feelings of anger, bitterness, envy, or regret? Do you harbor ill will against someone who you simply can't seem to forgive? If so, it's time to finally get serious about forgiveness, you guys, because forgiveness is key. When someone hurts you, the act of forgiveness is difficult, but it is necessary. Because until you forgive, until you truly forgive, you are trapped in a prison of your own creation. And most of us don't spend too much time thinking about forgiveness. We worry instead. So I challenge you today to forgive someone and to stop worrying. Instead, most of us don't spend too much time thinking about forgiveness, you guys. You know, instead we worry um, about the injustices we have suffered and the people who inflicted them. God, the universe, the source has a better plan, you guys. And I'm here to let you know that God, the universe, the source has a better plan and wants us to live in the present, be in the moment, live in the present, not the past. And God knows that in order to do so, in order to do so, we must forgive those who harmed us. 
We must. Have you decided to be someone who is no longer enslaved to bitterness? Because I know I sure have, you guys. I am no longer enslaved to bitterness. No longer. I embrace the freedom of forgiveness. And I challenge you today to embrace the freedom of forgiveness. It is truly powerful. It is truly amazing, you guys. It is truly amazing. So move past your own particular tough times by freeing yourself. Free yourself from the chains of bitterness and regret, you guys. And just keep breathing in all that sweet ass energy, you guys. You are beautiful. You are powerful. You are amazing. We all have the power and we all have the potential to be and become our greatest versions. So. Have a beautiful, blessed, and creative day, you guys. Keep those vibes way high up in the sky. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And leave a comment below if you deal with a silly, a silly, silly landlord like I have. I mean, isn't that just the silliest thing you've ever heard in your life? Bye, guys. Talk to you soon. Let's see what the oracle cards oh, has for us today. Shuffle them. Thank you, guys. Sisters and spirit guides. This divine message that you want us to hear. Today is Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, you guys. Trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur, you guys. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Woo! What a beautiful card. Archangel Michael, I know you see it. I know you see it. I know you feel it. I know you feel this divine, sweet ass energy. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. And just keep breathing in all that sweet ass energy, you guys. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.